Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the Gundy YouTube channel. In today's video, I managed to complete the Solos vs Duos challenge on the Resurgence game modes. Um, this week's rotation is on the big map. I think last week it was on Vondel, so when that's back in the rotation, I'll try to do that challenge. Um, when I first land in, I get absolutely shit on here. <laughs> they both landed on me. I think I would have killed this guy if it weren't for the both of them. The reason I brought up the menu there, because they've changed it, so... I think in, on Warzone 2, if you were doing solos, you couldn't die at all. It would class as a team white, whereas now um, they've changed the rule set. So if you are playing as a solo, you just have to land and survive. I think it's like 20 seconds. So it's not an automatic team wipe if you're doing a solos versus duos, trios or quads challenge, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to do a talk over the gameplay of what I was thinking and um, if you're looking to do something similar yourself. I think playing solos versus um, squad based game modes you should do it if you're looking to improve as a player it does make you better as a player because it enab enables you to get into gunfights where you're outnumbered so you can work on your movement and work on your decision making um, before we go into the rest of the video um, as I always say in my videos I'd really appreciate if you can like the video and subscribe if you haven't already done so and also leave a comment down below of what you thought of the video and of um, any guns you'd like me to use in these videos, um, really appreciate any feedback. It helps me uh, produce a video schedule of what videos I'm looking to do. Um, this week, I'm looking to do the Solos versus Quads Challenge in Vondal. I've tried it a couple of times. I got absolutely shit on, so <laughs> I'm going to try for the rest of the week to see if I can actually complete that challenge, see how it goes. So right now, I'm just looking to get enough cash up. So for £5,000 to buy both my guns from the buy station. This is the team that killed me at the start. I knew they weren't good players because... The way they were playing, they were like creeping around the corner. A good player, if you shoot them and they trade with you, there's two of them, they're going to chase you down. They, they played that so, so, so I knew they weren't good players. an easy kill there. I decided to keep the ground loop AM R9. I really enjoy using it. I just still need to make a build for it for um, as a loadout gun. I mean, it doesn't hit that hard, but what it is, is really accurate. You'd think it'd be a good sniper support gun, to be honest with you. So I know his teammates in that building, so I'm just going to farm a few kills here. I'm just sort of waiting out. I know his teammate's going to land back in his teammate. Might as just get a free Enemy kill. Into the AO. Enemy destroyed. Use attack map to hunt down the rest of them. Go for the, go for the team wipe. I should have died here. That, that guy had awful aim. Yeah, again, I just need... Sometimes when I watch other players or spectate other players, they don't know when to back out of a gunfight. I mean, that gunfight, I was literally one shot. There's no point me standing there continuing trading with that person. You're better off trading with him. And then if you start to lose a gunfight, just back it out and re then reset the gunfight. So I'm just waiting again. I'm just going to try to see if his teammate's going to land in it. He should be landing in anytime soon. I mean, it's normally like 10 to 15 seconds, isn't it? But it looks like he isn't going to land in, so I'm going to challenge this guy now. I mean, that's one thing I need to improve on when I play the Resurgence mode. I'm always really keen just to get a team white. But if you want to go for the higher kills, you see a lot of the better uh, players. Um, what they do is farm kills, so they never ever get the team white. But if they come across a team who are quite botty, if you want to put it in that sense, or not, not really good at the game, you can sort of, sort of guess they're not really good at the game. 
what's the point to you, my problem? They're the sort of players that are just going to keep on landing, landing again, landing again. So you can just keep, you know, you can farm like 10 kills off them in the space for like two minutes. That's one thing I need to improve. I just like, just as soon as I see the red dot, I'm chasing it. But in Resurgence, you need to play a bit more, a bit more slower if you want to farm the kills. So like, yeah, it's that same team that I was find at that building. You know, they're not really good players, you can tell. I'm not trying to sound arrogant, but that's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? They're not good players. That aim is absolutely dog shit from me there. Marking the rest of that squad on your tag map. Go get hunting. So I noticed there was, as I was shooting the guy with the, um, who had the sniper again, there was fighting to my left. Hear the footsteps to my right. And like there, I was saying earlier, I knew I was going to lose that gunfight. I back it out straight away and reset it. What's the point of me standing there and just trading with them? I'm just going to lose. Just an easy, easy team, right? I see, as I said, I see a lot of players. They, they, they trade with the first guy, then the second guy comes around the corner and they just stand there and just eat bullets. You don't need to. Change the angle, replay, re-challenge it. I mean, it's very unlikely in that situation. They're, they're going to run away from that gunfight as well. They believe they've got shots to me. They think they've got me weak. They're not going to run away from that gunfight. I've seen a lot of polls on Twitter about what map people prefer. I actually really enjoy playing the big map and um, resurgence maps. I think they're quite they play really well as you know, resurgence modes. I think Vondel yeah, it is a, I do enjoy playing Vondel, but played it quite a lot last year. You know, There's only so much of Vondel you can play. So the reason I don't full send this, so there's a f quite a few red dots here, so I just don't want to get third party. I'm just going to take my time. I mean, what's your guys' opinions about the best resurgence map? I mean, I think... Fort I, I really enjoy Fortune's Keep. I really like that map. Um, I actually enjoyed it more than Rebirth Island. Which hot take. So I know them players are still in that building. Oh. Heard footsteps, I thought I'd just check the corner. I'm just worried about that sniper to my left. So I know there's one more person now, I'm just going to hold on.
So I've seen that guy jump off this roof and go to the other. So I'm thinking, can I get control of this roof? And then third party, that gunfight. Because I heard gunshots as I was coming in, so... I'm just full sending this. I just don't want to miss out on these kills. And I see the two red dots on my tap map, so there's they must be fighting. So they must have been fighting this guy I just shot. So I know there's two more people likely downstairs. So I'm gonna ADS walk this. Enemies deploy to buy station. Drones are deploying buy stations in the area. Well I thought I was gonna ADS walk it. and I couldn't see him. What I should have done there was I should have baited the res. I should have looked around that corner seen that you weren't south resident and then waited to get the audio cue that he was south resident then challenged it. I would have got, I would have got both the kills so easily there. Now from memory for some weird reason my aim turned into part of the shit I mean that is awful aim by me. Gas is closing in. Enemy buy station deployed. I don't know what it is with me. Sometimes when the kill's too easy, my aim just goes all over the place. And I'm just playing. I don't know what I'm doing with this guy. I'm watching this back. I'm making such a meal out kill this one guy. Right like there. Like, aim went very good on that person. The reason I run straight back into the staircase is because I'm assuming his teammate got to a building and is trying to flank me from below. Then I've got a really good power position now because the gas is gonna swing off to my left. I've got the rooftop so I can just simply jump over. Gas is moving. Enemy soldier incoming. You're in the top five. Bring home the win. I don't mind the buyback here. He's just giving me free kills. I just need to be careful I don't get landed on. You get no order from people landing on you in this game. Another good rotation for me again. Yeah, a bad aim from me again. Should have got them guys out of the game much quicker. And now I know it's a 1v1 situation and I heard the footsteps of this guy going to my building, so. Um, the gas is coming out of this building, so it's just an easy win here. And the only way I'm losing this is this guy's got a fire shotgun, which thankfully he didn't have. To be fair, he got me down to 1 HP. <laughs> that, was, that was close to losing that. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video. As I said at the start, really appreciate it if you can like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in the next one.